We had a great question in the learning curve the other day on how to use the form for Doxra to create a billing statement, and I'd like to uh, share that with you. We'll use for this a combination of a Q&A table that we'll use to capture the client information, the uh, billing date period, uh, the hourly rate, and then we'll use a grid answer to capture the information on the, uh, the matters that compose the statement itself. We're going to pick up matter number, the activity description, and the, uh, and the time. We'll use DocsRaw's list answer capability, insert a list, and for this we're going to use table format. And rather than three column format, I want four at, with headings in the first row. I've used Word's table formatting commands to format the table so it's a little more attractive. This entire table is a list answer. And you'll recall that in the form tool in Doxra, any list is composed of, of three components. It's the first item in the list, second item in the list, or second or any second, third, fourth, any uh, intermediate. A number and then a final number. So any, the final item in the list. So any list uh, has a first item, a last item, and then all the items in between are contained here. So the list can go on and on and on, or it can be as short as, as one item. And uh, and Doxra in this case uh, doesn't care. So here we're going to insert in the list a field, and we want the field to be the description of the current item in text. We'll insert another field in this list, and we want this field to be the time contained in the list, and we want it to be the current item. So the way to think of this is the first item up its description and its time. We'll now add a third field with the uh, with the formula. So we'll make it a number math formula. And the formula is going to be the field of current time. times, excuse me, times the hourly rate. We'll get rid of the extra time symbol here. We'll say OK and done. Now we'll take these three items. We we'll use Control C to copy them and Control V to insert them in the other list items. And with that, we're done. We've used a uh, ordinary field for the capture the client name, the client address, and the billing date. It's worth taking a look at uh, at this because I didn't want to use the uh, typical date of month, day, year. I wanted instead to use month and year only, and so used a customized format for that. Here we've got the table that will give us the matter number, the description, the time, and the charge. Down below that, another uh, field using math capability. I'll show you the formula here of hourly rate times the sum of the times contained in the uh, in the grid answer fourth uh, third column. So put it all together. Click fill, and we've got client name. We've got client address, we've got the uh, customized date format, we have the matter numbers, we have each of the itemized descriptions, we have the time that's associated with each of those items, we have the dollar amounts that we're using uh, for each of those items, and here we have a sum total of the whole thing. All we've got to do now is click Petrify, and it's ready to go out.